Saigon. 45 deaths in traffic accidents on all freeways and all roads. Rape, murder, loot, kill, ignore. Now, my thought is, why don't they have like a good news station? If there was a hip station, it would have good news. It would get on and like I say, hi, um... Freddie Wilson found a thousand dollars today in a paper bag and the fuzz said, keep it, Freddie, it's groovy, man. <laughs> groovy. You know, beautiful. You know. Nineteen forty-three. That was when the gooks were our enemy, as they still are today. Only it's different gooks. We just apply the name to everybody. Uh, you know, it's got to be uptight for a lot of those people, man. Especially in Hollywood, those guys that play all the different roles. You know, because during the war we couldn't have any Japanese in our pictures because in California we locked them all up. That's how groovy we were. Took all the time. You know, guys waking up. Where's the gardener, man? What happened to Kichiburo? What? What they do? They took the. Well, how do I can't water, man? I don't. Let me. Out. Where are the vegetables? Where? Where? They locked him up, man. So they had to get Chinese restaurant owners to play the Japanese, man. And they were uptight, man. You know, Richard Liu and Philip Bon and Key Luke and all those cats. You know, they played bad Japanese guys. Until after the war, the Japanese became our friends, and, you know, we dug Sony and all of that jazz. So, like, in a typical aircraft thing, it's got to go... Convoy, night. A lot of stock shots of black silhouette ships going by, right? <laughs> they didn't, in those days, we couldn't even photograph the fleet, man. We used to use stock shots of silhouettes. It's night. John Ireland writing a letter on deck. Dear Marge, tomorrow we attack Iwo Kakamani Islands. <laughs> Babe, I'm not scared because John Wayne is on this boat with me. Man. And John Payne and Sonny Tuft and a lot of other good guys like Ward Bond and some of those other real Americans. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, okay? The next morning, it's the attack. They're laying off Iwo whatever island right here. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Now hear this. Now hear this. The chaplain will speak to you boys before you go over the side. Take it away, chaplain. Okay, boys. Kill a goop for God. <laughs> okay. John Payne and Sonny Tuffs are in one of the LSTs or whatever they call those things that go into the beach. And the Japanese are zeroed in. And Sonny Tuff says, Somebody's got to wipe out those machine gun nests. John Payne says, I'll go. Sonny Tuff says, No, I'll go. John Payne says, Groovy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you're crazy. You're going to go over there. You're going to kid. So now he takes off his shirt. He takes off his Hollywood High School undershirt. He puts 8,000 grenades in his mouth everywhere. Any orifice he can find, he's got grenades. Man. Dives over the side. Runs up in the shore. Japanese see him coming. Brrr, boom, there are 40 million holes in it. Boom. He spits a grenade and wipes them out. Now to the mortars. Boom. 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 He spits a grenade, wipes them out. By this time, one arm's going both legs, a huge hole in his chest. He wipes out everything in the island, almost, and falls into a clearing. 
No arms, no legs, a huge hole in his chest. John Payne sees him. He yells out, Corman, Corman! Sonny Tuff says, <coughs> little trickle of chocolate comes out of his mouth. Well, it wasn't, they didn't have no technicolor, right? And he says, no, it's too late. Of course it's too late. Man. <laughs> Picks up his head. He says, can I do anything for you, Sonny? He says, sure, man. Just give me a cigarette. <laughs> Here, babe, take a cigarette. smoke blowing out of the holes. Man. Now, you know cigarette smoking is bad for you. Look where it's coming out of, man. Who knew it went down that far? Are you kidding? Right. He says, Sonny, before you die, that scene, we know that now. What are you going to say? Anything, man. Anything. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying for apple pie and mother and freedom and democracy, and honesty, and give me liberty or give me death. And I hope the spooks get to ride in the front of the bus. <laughs> What's heavy, man? Wow, what a heavy number to lay. John, it's the commie must have wrote that, man. Okay. Now, John Payne gets angry, right? Really angry, she said. Sonny! Sonny! Let's go back! To the Chinese restaurant owners yell, hey, take it easy, man. It's only a movie. You crazy? It's Key Luke, remember? Egg Fu Young, dummy. I don't know. Sure, man. But our other enemy was the real enemy, babe. The German. Volkswagen and Mercedes. Those bad guys, man, you know. Today I'd go to a ski area and a guy says, uh, uh, here's your ski instructor. He says, hello, my name's Hans Richter. I'm from Argentina. Oh, groovy country. Argentina, yeah. yeah. What did you do during the war, pal? Uh, I was on the Pampas. I was a gaucho. Oh, groovy. Gaucho and the Pampas. Very nice, man. We're all together now. 